well, oh, looky here, got my tube, is you'll have the actual bark of an elk. If you hear the bark, well, I'm sure you've heard of it before, but there's not much going to hang around. Let's see if I can do it with this reed here. It sounds a lot like a dog barking. Usually single note only. Very rare will a bull make that single note unless he's squealing within a herd or something, but it doesn't have that sharp, crisp barkness to it, which is an alarm. They feel threatened. They know something's wrong. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. They're gone. When you hear that noise, they're out of there. Again, this is usually what it sounds like. <coughs> so when you're in the woods, don't make that noise. Or, I mean, you don't even have to see elk. It'll just, everything will clear out. They're gone. And so, just trying to give you the different uh, sounds or notes that a cow will make. So now you have six sounds, five effective ones. This is not effective. The other ones, there are times to use those calls. And now what we're going to do is show you one that, uh, for the early season hunters on cows that really, really gets the cows to answer. And we're going to show you what a bull sounds like when he is calling nothing but cows. No confrontation. This is a non-threatening call. This is just a call that a bull will make when he is searching for cows and wants cows to come to him. And in many, re in many instances, the cows, in most instances, the cows will answer. They will respond to this call by cow calling rapidly. Usually an excited cow call like, we're over here, we're over here, come on over here, we're here. That's what they do. And so that's how they respond. Uh, many times, all they do is come running right in. They don't say anything. But I mean, they come in with a lot of noise. And can you, so you see what I'm saying is, as a rifle hunter, a muzzle loader, whatever, a cow, if you're looking for nothing but cows, you can actually turn this hunt into an exciting hunt. I mean, you can have your son with you, your daughter, your wife, another companion, and you're working these calls, and I mean, you're calling elk right in. You're not worried about that 300-yard shot with that fancy rifle and scope. I mean, it's not necessary. You can get them real close, and that just makes this hunt that much more exciting. And I'll tell you what, you will remember that type of a hunt much more than you did. Well, I think a couple years ago, I shot one 350 yards away. I mean, just, you know, it's just meat on the table. But when you do it like this, it just adds that much more to it. And you look forward to the hunt even that much more. So this is what a bull will sound like. I'm going to grab another call here, the yellow one there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use this call right here for the high pitch of a bull that is looking for cows. And so once again, this is what it would sound like. It sounds something similar to that. He usually has a high pitch, he runs it out, and this gives a little low of a growl. Not a purposeful growl, it's just how he ends it with his note right there because he's bringing it up from his diaphragm. So again, I'll, I'll do that again. This call is a little bit stiff, but it's gonna work okay. Right here, it's 20 something degrees outside. But it sounds like this. Now pay attention with this because you can master this call very, very easily. I'm using it just a, a clear tube with a reed, it's a double reed in my mouth. So you notice how he's carrying out because it's in search of, he is actually looking to actually reach a distance and that's what he's doing. And it does carry. And usually when the cows hear this early season, especially, they'll answer right back like we're over here. And I'll tell you what, that's a good call. But be careful when you use it so that you don't have to worry about, you know, other hunters that are around that may hear it and want to come in as well and checking this out because you're probably not the only one that will watch this video.